Aloha. You're watching F5 Web Media On Demand. I'm Peter Silva, Technical Marketing Manager at F5, and we're here at the Interop Conference at Mandalay Bay in Las Vegas, Nevada. We're actually in booth 1643 if you want to come down and visit us. Now, if you remember, a few months ago when we were at Oracle Open World, Chris Acker, a solutions engineer, showed us a real cool feature doing the rack connection management with the big IP devices. And today he wants to share with us another cool solution for Oracle Data Guard. So can you tell us first, thanks for joining us, Chris. Sir. Can you tell us a little bit about the Oracle Data Guard and what that's all about? So Oracle Data Guard is the software from Oracle that allows you to replicate a copy of your database. So here we have a primary database and Data Guard is running to the standby database, and this is a feature of Data Guard called Zero Data Loss. What that means is that whenever I write a transaction to this database, it is also written to the standby database in what we call synchronous mode, so that there is a guarantee that you're never going to lose any data or lose any transactions. It's a very popular feature see it deployed in a lot of data centers where Oracle databases are used. And so right here, right, um, it happens fast because it's in the local data center, it's probably yeah. over fiber or 10 gig or Very something nice like speed. that. And, and so the, the response time to the client is, is super fast. And you were telling me that, right, the database doesn't make its response until that replication happens to the second database. Is that right? Exactly. So the client software will not get an acknowledgement that the data has been written until both of the databases acknowledge that the data has been written to basically this to guarantee zero data loss. So uh, customers really like this solution. However, the problem that was presented was, well, what happens if I have a disaster in this data center, a hurricane or a flood or earthquake? You know, both copies of my database now are unavailable. So what customers would like to do is to be able to run this database in another data center uh, a couple hundred or even a couple thousand miles away. That would be their preference. However, because of the network latency between the primary and the standby database, as this network latency increases, the response time to the client also increases. So, a lot of customers can't do this using traditional wide area network technology. So the solution that F5 now has in cooperation with Oracle is we are going to use a new feature of Big IP called the WAN optimization module that will minimize the effects of wide area networks on data guard replication. So once you start going like 100 miles, 500 miles, even even cross country with multiple databases, the latency can become so great where the response time becomes just unacceptable for the client. Right. Most of the time when you run the databases in zero data loss, your latency tolerance is only 20 milliseconds or less. So this network is more than 20 milliseconds, right? The response time is, is bad enough that the client doesn't want to pay for that expense in the response time. So what we do with F5 is we use the big IP with the WAN optimization module. Now these would sit in, in their representative data centers. These wouldn't right. necessarily be out in this cloud, out in the network. Big ID is in the second data center, and using our version 10 software, they set up what's called an I session tunnel between the two devices. Now that tunnel is configured to be highly optimized for wide area network connectivity, which means that the remote database and the, the local database now are connected on a very high speed efficient wide area network without the cost of actually having to buy an expensive wide area network. So you get WAN-like performance over the wide area network. And the WAN optimization module, some of those types of optimizations are things like TCP optimization, caching, compression, 
yeah. and those sort of technologies to accomplish this task. And we can also enable SSL on this high session funnel, so if you need to encrypt the data going from one data center to the other data center, you can turn on SSL encryption and also make sure all that data is secure when it goes across the network. So we have, we have database fault tolerance locally first, and if a disaster happens, then you know, you're out of luck. To then make you know, data center fault tolerance, you want to put it all the way over here, right, in another place in case this gets taken out. So how then does you know, the client, say, get find the new spot, get redirected? Now, I know Oracle does some things to make this primary, right? Right. So DataGuard has a feature called uh, Fast Failover. What that means is, is that if the primary database has a problem, DataGuard will automatically switch to the standby database in a few seconds. Again, because you're running in synchronous mode, that copy of the database is identical to the copy of this database. For the client, the client connection, what we do is we use our global traffic manager product, and global traffic manager would detect that there's a failure in this database and automatically direct the client over to the disaster recovery site or the second uh, data center automatically. So Oracle would handle the failover of the database and F5 would handle the failover of the client connections to the second data center. Now you were also talking about, you know, here is lickety split, and if it's greater than 20 milliseconds, you start running into problems. And that, I think you were mentioning maybe 100 miles, less than 100 miles to right. separate data centers. Now, if you put these at like 500, 1,000 miles away on a traditional WAN, what, what type of millisecond do you see without the WAN optimization module? So, without the WAN optimization module, if you wanted to stretch this, uh, say, 1,000 or 2,000 miles, that would be about 100 milliseconds of network latency. And the response time on your clients then would be like double or triple uh, in performance, which is unacceptable, sure. right? Now, adding, ading the WAN optimization modules, what does what that 100 drop down to? Right. So, in our testing, we went ahead and made this network 100 milliseconds. And we used a standard T3, nothing very fancy or expensive. And we were able to get the same number of transactions and the same response time with about a 10% hit in performance. So it was only a 10% performance hit, but you got the benefit of running both databases in synchronous or zero data loss mode. But still way, way under the 100 milliseconds, more closer to the 20 than the 100, as if they were a little bit. Right. So in a nutshell, you are able to run DataGuard in synchronous mode, zero data loss mode, about five times further than what you were before if you can use if you use F5 WAN optimization technology. That's pretty cool, Chris. It's really cool. All right. So thanks for watching and learning a little bit about the Oracle Data Guard and the F5 integration. And so again, we're here at Interop at Mandalay Bay in Las Vegas, booth 1643 if you want to come down and visit us. Or if not, after the show, uh, hopefully this will be uh, advantageous to you. Thanks for joining us, Chris. You're welcome. And so for Chris, I'm Peter for F5 Networks.